Welcome back. In 2010, the average college graduate racked up about $25,000 worth of student loan debt. That's according to our next guest. Former college administrator and author of College Sense, Tawan Perry, is here with some advice for parents getting ready to send their kids off to college. Good evening and thanks for being here. Hey, thanks for having me. So you say there are a lot of mistakes that parents make on the cost side of college. So what are some of those things? Well, some of those things, the first thing I would say is taking out loans that are uh, that accumulate interest while they're still in college. These type of loans are typically called unsubsidized loans, so they want to stay away from those. Uh, the other thing that parents typically do and students do as well is they buy their textbooks as opposed to renting them during right. the first couple of years. I don't think they should really uh, purchase books until they're getting into their major or they're going to grad school. Right. You know, financial aid is a big one, but you say there's actually, I think that's pretty open, the colleges talk about financial aid, but you actually say in your book that there are some financial programs out there not in the financial aid category that colleges usually don't tell parents and students about. What's that? Well, a lot of parents can actually get jobs at the institutions, mm -hmm. and in doing so, uh, their child can go there tuition free. Hmm. Um, now that's, this is of course not at every institution, but many right. institutions have that, that perk for being an employee of the uh, institution. That's interesting. So what are some ways students can avoid that, uh, the debt at the end? What are some things specifically the kids can do? Well, I think one of the biggest things is taking out as much money as you need. I mean, I, I've known students who take out way more loans than they actually need, and so it ends up biting them, uh, you know, where when um, a few years later. So. Sure, that makes sense. Now, you say the first eight weeks of college are critical to students' long-term success in life. So why so? How? The reason why it's so critical is because this is the time that they establish their grade point average. Hmm. And if their grade point average is low, they could go in jeopardy of losing their scholarships or even worse, not having a high enough GPA to get more scholarships as they continue their, their college journey. Do you have any advice for the students then to really buckle down those first eight weeks? Yeah, I would say, you know, really, first of all, go to your classes, uh, pay attention, and really begin to build relationships and get connected to your campus. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's broaden it out a little bit. We've talked a lot about cost, but you say that in your book you talk about the very top three things that parents and students, the biggest mistakes they make during the college career. What are those? Well, one of the biggest mistakes that parents and students make is rushing and picking a major right away. Mm. I think students and parents have to really be aware that college is a process and choosing a major is a process. So, so you're saying they need to work together on that mm -hmm. too, it sounds like. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else? So um, I want to say a little bit more about that okay. I mean, because it's such a, a big mistake that most people make. You know, college is oftentimes you're told to do it in four years, but the average college student now graduates in about six years. So I think it's getting that extra time to really um, decide what it is they want to do in interning as well as doing service learning right. uh, opportunities. Cut down on costs in the end too. Well that's just one of the three biggest mistakes. You'll have to find out the other two in the book since we are out of time. So for more information and details about getting a copy of College Sense, what college and high school advisors don't tell you about college, check out tawanperry.com.